What's going on guys? My name is Mark Wagner and today we're going to be talking about why I think about 90% of dropshippers fail. And um, that's a real statistic. You're welcome to look it up. But 90% of Shopify stores close within the first three months. Now that's kind of crazy to me and I just think that you really need to know what to avoid when you're getting into dropshipping. So stick around and let's get into the value. All right, so the first thing that we're going to talk about, which is one of the reasons that I failed in the beginning, is that people don't really know what they're getting into. You can't just watch a couple YouTube gurus and um, think that this is easy and I can do this too and go ahead and start your Shopify store. It's not a get rich quick scheme and it takes a whole lot of work and it also takes a decent amount of money. So you can't just expect to invest like $50 into this and make a profit. That's just not how it works. It takes a lot of time and a lot of money if you want to build something right. So just make sure that you know that and you do a lot of research before you start Shopify dropshipping. While you're doing research, you should make a plan of action so that you know what steps you're going to take once you go ahead and start dropshipping. That includes stuff like how you're going to advertise your products, what products you're going to sell, and more. Another reason that Shopify dropshippers fail is that they don't realize how important advertising is. I remember when I first started, I basically imported a bunch of products and then I was kind of wondering why people weren't buying stuff from me. But advertising is 90% of the work and that's really what you need to focus on when you're doing research before you start your store. Because you could have the best product in the world, but if you don't know how to advertise it, then you're not going to make any sales. So why we're talking about good products, you need to know how to find those. I really, really don't recommend that you just pick products that you like or that you're interested in. It needs to be a proven product that other dropshippers are selling successfully. If you just go and import a bunch of random products from AliExpress, chances are none of those are going to be stuff that people want to buy. Picking good products is a really important skill to have, and I do have multiple videos on my channel teaching you how to do that. But you need to make sure that the product is not widely available. That means you can't run down to your local Walmart and get a very similar product. You also need to make sure that the product is not saturated, meaning there's not an enormous amount of dropshippers selling the same product. However, it's good if there are some dropshippers selling the same product, that way you know that it's working. Another reason that many dropshippers fail is that they start with Facebook ads. Now, by no means am I saying that this is impossible to do, however, it's a very non-beginner friendly way to start advertising. Personally, what I always do and what, well, not what I do anymore, but what I recommend other beginners do is to start with Instagram influencers. It's a lot more budget friendly and it's a lot more beginner friendly because it's just not as complicated and there's not as many variables at play. It is next to impossible to start with a couple hundred dollars on Facebook and turn a profit. However, it is entirely possible with Instagram influencers and it's really not that hard if you kind of know what you're doing. So another reason that many dropshippers fail is that they're too quick to give up or they don't give up soon enough. And I know this contradict each other, but um, hear me out. If you start off and you spend like 20 or 30 or 40 or $50 testing a product and you don't get any sales, then that doesn't mean that the product is dead and you just move on. It could be a great product, but there could be something wrong with your ad or there could be something wrong with the influencer that you tested or there could be something wrong with your website. There's a lot of factors at play and you can't just like test a very, very small amount and then give up. You really got to keep going and that doesn't just go for products that goes for stores and that goes for the business itself. It's, it's not hard to make money, but um, it's not easy either. So you really just got to keep going and pushing through those failures 
Um, because everyone has them. I failed and everyone else that's been successful has failed too. We have lost money and we have pushed through it and that is the reason that we are successful. You also can't give up too late, meaning you can't spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars testing a product um, when you have absolutely no reason to think it's a winner. Or even if you do have a reason to think it's a winner, um, if you haven't like seen any signs of that, meaning you haven't gotten any purchases, uh, you've gotten very few add to cart, stuff like that, then um, you know there may be something wrong with your product. And obviously you should troubleshoot your store and your ads and stuff like that, but um, you know it's possible that you just don't have a good product. And at that point you're gonna wanna move on. And you shouldn't spend too much money testing a product just because you're emotionally attached to it. That's a very costly mistake and I highly recommend that you don't make it. All right, so one of the biggest reasons that people also fail starting Shopify dropshipping is that they overcomplicate it. Now, I know that when you don't have like a set process and you haven't done this before, it's confusing. Like, I totally get that and um, I agree with you. I was there at one point. However, it's really not as hard as you're making it out to be. Um, most of the time when you see people talk on YouTube, they're not lying to you and they've actually used those exact same strategies to make a whole lot of money. Like it works and I'm not saying that everything someone else does is going to work for you but it is entirely possible to make money um, doing what YouTubers tell you. However, what I would not recommend doing is I would not recommend, you know, um, watching tons and tons of YouTubers and then trying to combine that into one strategy because that is just not gonna work. What I would do is I would find one to two really, really good YouTubers that go very in depth on their strategies, which most do not because they like charging you for courses. Um, but anyway, I would just find one to two really good YouTubers and then copy their strategies basically to the word. Um, and then you should really be able to get results from that and if you don't, then um, you know just move on to a different strategy but don't overcomplicate it don't try to make up everything as you go and just you know try to copy someone's strategy that's why they're telling it to you now even if you found like a super good youtuber like myself um, you know there's always going to be questions that you have and there's always going to be you know like little holes in all the strategies that they're telling you and in that case um, you may want to find someone that you can ask questions to even if that's like a Facebook group or something like that I'm always available if you want to ask me any questions uh, Just feel free to shoot me a DM on Instagram. All right guys I really hope you enjoyed this video Hopefully I was able to save you a lot of money and a lot of time starting your Shopify dropshipping store And just remember you're gonna fail everyone does fail um, I would honestly be incredibly surprised if you were able to succeed with the first store that you started. Um, but you know, just keep up with it and um, eventually you're going to make it. Don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button on your way out and I'll see you in the next one.